Hey friends, welcome back to Cooking with Sippy, gourmet comfort food right at home. On today's menu, we have a cast iron beef tenderloin with pan seared scallops, mashed Japanese sweet potatoes, and oven roasted Brussels sprouts. If gourmet is for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's begin. To begin, place beef tenderloins in Pyrex dish. You're then going to add one teaspoon of the following powdered seasonings, Tony Shackery's Creole seasoning, curry powder, cayenne pepper, ground black pepper, paprika. Then add one tablespoon of soy sauce and rice vinegar. Then add a half cup of chopped yellow onions and one fresh crushed garlic clove. Once complete, place in the refrigerator for six to eight hours to marinate. Next up, we have our scallops. First, squeeze one fresh lemon, then add one teaspoon of the following powdered seasonings, Tony Shakari's Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, ground black pepper, paprika, and Old Bay seasoning. Then add one fourth cup of chopped yellow onions and two fresh crushed garlic cloves. Once complete, place in the refrigerator for six to eight hours to marinate. Moving on to our Japanese sweet potatoes. Make sure your sweet potatoes are rinsed. We are going to start by slicing a half inch off each end. This is a great root vegetable to add to any gourmet meal, as sweet potatoes are high in fiber and carbohydrates, providing a great source of energy. Once you've sliced the ends, it is now optional to peel your sweet potato. I decided to peel about 60%. Once you've decided, then wrap each sweet potato in foil to be placed in the oven. For our next vegetable preparation, we have Brussels sprouts. To begin, place your Brussels sprouts on the cutting board and slice a quarter of an inch off each stem. As you are slicing, some leaves may fall off and it is optional to set these leaves aside to sprinkle over the Brussels sprouts once it's time to oven roast. Brussels sprouts are a nutrient-dense vegetable, very high in vitamin C and vitamin K, and can be added to any gourmet meal. Next, bring eight cups of water to a boil in a saucepan then add your prepped Brussels sprouts to boil for three to five minutes. Our Brussels sprouts are done boiling and have been strained and placed into a bowl to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. We are now going to prep our Brussels sprouts for the oven. To begin, slice each Brussels sprout in half and place into the baking pan facing up. We are going to oven roast our Brussels sprouts for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. I decided to save the additional leaves to sprinkle right on top before I place the Brussels sprouts in the oven. Make sure to keep a separate timer for your Japanese sweet potato and your Brussels sprouts. Moving on to stovetop, you will need a 10 inch cast iron pan or skillet. To begin, melt one tablespoon of your choice of butter onto the pan at low heat. Once the butter has melted, you can now add in your seasoned beef tenderloins. Don't forget to add a few of the chopped yellow onions on top as this will help to keep the steaks juicy and flavorful. Turn stove to medium heat 
and cook steaks on each side for eight to 10 minutes to achieve medium internal temperature, 145 degrees. Let's sear those scallops. Next, you will need a separate 10 inch skillet, add two tablespoons of your choice of oil or butter, and at low heat, begin adding in your scallops. Once complete, turn heat to high. At high heat, sear scallops on each side for three to four minutes. My favorite food? Wow, I have so many. Let me rewind a little bit. When I was little, my favorite food was pasta, like cheesy pasta. I was just in love with cheese. I wanted cheese pizza cheesy pasta, cheesy vegetables. I was in love with cheese. And as I got older, cheese and I are no longer friends. Honestly, dairy and I are no longer friends. I'm, I'm strictly non-dairy now. So as of today, my favorite food would be fish. I really love fish. I cook a lot of fish. I love salmon. I love a golden pompano. I love cod, a nice Chilean sea bass, <laughs> or a Dover sole. Mm. Yeah, I love fish. <laughs> Let's get back to our vegetables. Out of the oven, remove Japanese sweet potato and place into a bowl for mashing. For your Brussels sprouts, drizzle two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar over the top, then sprinkle your favorite vegetable seasoning or salt and pepper, then use a large spoon to mix around. Let's mash our sweet potato. The best utensil to use is a potato masher. If you don't have one, you can use a whisk or a fork. Begin mashing your sweet potato until all solid pieces are smashed. We did it. Light a candle and pour yourself a glass of wine. This is a fabulous gourmet meal. Enjoy.